How's it going everyone? Skulls Nightshade here, MMO Fashionista, and today we will be covering the brand new outfit added to the Pearl Shop, the Rose Noir outfit. This outfit is available for all female characters, excluding Shy. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the notes. This is the most important thing that we're getting from the site here. This applies to all classes that get the outfit. This outfit's helmet cannot be dyed and follows the color of the character's hair selected in the customization, of course, F4, uh, which means that the helmet's just a hairstyle. So it's gonna use the same colors your hairstyle does. If you do wanna change that, you have to actually change that on your character. Wearing this armor grants a unique idle animation. One of my favorite things about the outfits is the idle animations for them. Wearing this armor will hide your underwear and swimwear. Wearing these gloves with other armor will change the appearance of the gloves. So normal stuff here. On Sork specifically, wearing this armor will hide your awakening weapon when out of combat. Toggle the hide cape feature to reveal it. So this is specific to Sork. Now for, it looks like all other female classes, Ranger, Tamer, Meiwa, Kunoichi, Dark Knight, Mystic, Lawn, Guardian, Nova, Corsair, Drac, Wusa, Megu, and Scholar. Wearing this armor will hide your weapons outside of combat. Toggle the hide cape feature to reveal them. So on Sork, it hides your awakening weapon. I think because of the way Sork's weapon is, with it basically being claws outside of that. Um, and for all the other classes, it will hide the, the rest of your uh, weapons, like all of them together. Other than Mystic. Okay, so Mystic. Wearing this armor will hide your weapons. So that's just in general, I'm assuming. Wearing the armor won't show any of the mystic weapons. And let's look at the pearl shop. So I wanted to start with Megu, just because I main Megu, but we can, we can start here. It looks like the outfit is currently 2,200 pearls. I don't know if we have any coupons that come with the anniversary event. But if you do have them, this will be a very good time to use them. Uh, for each item, uh, this is accurate to the website. The helmet's going to be 500. Uh, the armor itself is 1200. The gloves are 400 and the shoes are 400, which that looks a little bit different than what we have on the website. So this is how it looks for altogether for Ranger. I'm pretty sure this outfit is the same for everyone. I don't think there's any differences per class for how the outfit looks, but let's click through them just to make sure. We have Guardian here. Scholar, which another W outfit for Scholar. It's a very new class and doesn't have very many outfits, but the ones it does have killing it all right we have drac sort and again i think these are exactly the same for everyone so we'll run through these a little bit faster because i want to play with the colors <laughs> all right this is for nova Corsair. Lawn. I mean, the class pose kind of makes it hit different, but I'm assuming the idle animation is probably going to be the same. Megu. <laughs> My Megu in comparison to the uh, default models. Absolutely fabulous. If I were to wear this, I would definitely do it with uh, the helmet off and keep my original hairstyle. Probably also with the cape off, but I'll probably change the color of that. We have Tamer. Maywa. Mystic. Which it makes sense 
Because I'm thinking these arm things are a part of the outfit. It makes sense why her weapon is just hidden in general. We have Valkyrie. Kunoichi. Dark Knight. Wusa. And Witch. Which I think covers everyone. So the outfit is exactly the same on everyone. There's no specific changes based on the class other than what is shown and hidden. And again, for Mystic, when you wear this armor, it will hide your weapons. Ranger Tamer, Meiwa, Kunoichi, Dark Knight, Mystic. Oh wait, uh, well, yeah, Mystic, I guess, technically. Lawn, Guardian, Nova, Corsair, Drac, Wusa, Megu, and Scholar. It hides your weapons out of combat. And for Sork, it hides the Awakening weapon out of combat. All right, so now I'm going to get my pearls. I'm going to buy this outfit on my Megu, and we're gonna test out the textures and stuff like this. So I will go ahead and say that this is not something that I'm going to be able to do every single time we get a new outfit. Uh, but if you guys do like these videos and these videos do well, we could start a fund on Twitch or we might just invest into it. But this is our first one, so I'm not planning on just going <laughs> going like deep into just purchasing every single outfit to show you guys the texture differences but if i can i will if you guys do like this video then we'll continue doing this all right so we have our outfit and let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like in our inventory there we go rose noir set it looks like it goes on the market for uh 770 mil that's a uh, na servers let's go ahead and open it all right cool so the hair itself goes for 154 mil which honestly i'm probably going to nix the hair on this one we're gonna just take a look at the outfit the hair is pretty self-explanatory it matches your hair color you can exchange it for uh, 36 Valkyries or 108 Krons. Outfit goes for 370 mil. These shoes go for 123 mil. The gloves go for 123 mil. Let's see, is that all the pieces? Shoes, gloves, outfit, hair. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and equip this. I'm going to at least use the parts I'm going to keep. Again, I'm going to skip the hair just because I don't think it's super vital to showing you guys the outfit anyway. Let's go ahead and dye it. Oh, she already looks absolutely fabulous in this outfit. Uh, let's actually take a look at what you can change. And we'll try some of these textures this way too. So Kaplan dye, authentic leather feeling. Let's uh, play with this here. So you can change this part. Specifically, it looks like you can change these pieces here. Of course, this piece looks like all as one. Let's so change that to a black. So you can't change these little details in here, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks like just like the rough texture. It doesn't look like any uh, etching type of details or decal. You can change this piece here. This changes the little sword. Part of the little sword. This changes the other part of the sword. As well as the uh, part of the corset. Here. We change the chest area. I know the colors look a little rough, so just bear with me. Here changes the etching on here, as well as these little chains right here. The little flower.
This one changes the actual pieces of the armor, the main color for them. Here we have the cape. Which again, in my opinion, looks very nice and silk. And this changes the, oh, the etching on the silk itself. So you can go with a shiny color. You can go with a metal if you want. You can go with a leather if you want. You can go with uh, anything with this. It's very nice. So the changes you can make to this outfit are actually very, very nice. Let's continue to test out the fabric on this outfit uh, overall. All right, we have our shoes, which for the shoes you can change this part you can change this here oh i said it's to dial parts let's change that to black so we can see these colors a little bit better all right so very nice you can change these details that's all linked to the bottom uh the middle part has its own color and then these pieces here as well as the straps all sync to one color all right so let's change that to a bright color so we can see so you can change these straps as well as these little this little like cloth piece by the hand i think the straps would look good in either a leather or cloth um here you can change the little detail here as well as these little buttons and the buckles and then of course, this is the main piece of the armor. So let's look at some of the textures. We'll probably use the same color scheme in different textures. Let's go ahead and go to dial parts. Let's go to this part of the outfit. And so in the basic die that works on any material, which will keep the material texture that the outfit comes with, I'm just going to stick it in all black. So here's how it looks with a few colors, just in the regular dye. That's literally all of it dyed the same color. So no adjustments there. I'm sure with some detail, you can do some other things with it. The Olivian dye, so fabric. Let's change that here. The fabric looks okay, depending on the color. Some of these colors, it looks a little weird. But I feel like anything looks good in black. Um, it looks like some of the things are not supposed to be in fabric, so you definitely don't want to use uh, dial parts. You probably want to play around with that a little bit more and get some of those like metallic things in there, stuff like that. Um, Anyway, let's move on to the Velian dye. So glossy fabric, which to me looks like plastic, but actually looks really good on this outfit. And see, in comparison to that, it kind of gives a glossier look because this kind of looks like a, the faux leather, in my opinion. So pleather, as I call it, <laughs> looks like the faux leather. You kind of have that, but just more. And I feel like if you're going to do it, do it big. You know what I mean? Uh, let's look at the silk. So silk looks really, really soft as silk does. Definitely looks good on the cape. I don't know about the rest of the outfit. I don't think I would go with silk. Maybe some of the minor details here. If you can change some of these here, this is the authentic leather feeling, the uh, Kepler dye, which the leather looks very nice on this outfit. It's obviously made well for leather. Honestly, I kind of like the fake leather type of look to it. Um, but certain parts definitely like the top piece take very well to this actual leather. I think the pants look good in the fake leather. Um, but the top piece looks really, really nice in this leather. This you'd kind of want to go with the metallic, but it almost looks like a like a dull metal look on the shoulders, too. Uh, we have the Calfion dye, which is a glossy leather, which looks a little bit better on the pants. Still takes very well at the top. I think this top piece just takes good to color in general um, and looks really good on the 
armor actually. It just, again, looks like a dull metal, but it still has a little bit more of a gloss to it, which is uh, very appealing to the eye. The Medallion die, which is the metal look. Um, it kind of looks like a gloss, but it, it looks a little off in some places. Of course, the sword looks very nice. Honestly, the cape looks kind of cool in the metal. It kind of looks like chainmail almost a little bit. Chainmail light. <laughs> and then the shoulder pieces look good in the metal. Personally, I kind of like how they look with the leather feeling where it kind of gives a dull metal vibe. It takes away from the shininess I would personally add to this outfit. And then of course you have the shiniest of shiny metals, which is extraordinarily shiny. Uh, doesn't really look super metal. It just looks like some extreme leather plasticky feel. But yeah, that's pretty much everything you can change on the outfit itself minus the hair. So the way I would wear this outfit would be like this, and I'll kind of just speed through this with you guys. They have the pants. I would go with the plasticky look. I hate calling it plastic. <laughs> we have this detail, which for me, I would make that a metallic gold. So let's go with the Belsian dye. We'll do the shining yellow, so it's not too insane with the gold, which adds those buckles, adds a little nice shine to the outfit. Kind of similar to what it originally looks like. For these straps here, I'd probably go with a leather. Leather, something to kind of just like dull that down, make a matte color so that shine really stands out in the pants. Here, here you could go either way. You could also do a matte color to kind of keep the same vibe going with the whole outfit. You could also do a shiny color if you really, really wanted to. And uh, personally for me, I think I'm gonna go with the more matte color. So we'll go with the leather for here. Wait, did I skip something? Oh, just this piece. We're not gonna go too crazy with that. Uh, this is the metal part. We'll make that literally metal. We'll make it purple so it stands out a little bit. Here, uh, kind of doesn't look bad like that. So you could either go shiny in this piece here and then matte here, but I think I'm going to keep this matte and then go shiny here. This piece, this piece takes to any color really, really, really well. I think I would do a glossy leather. That almost makes me want to change the pants themselves to a glossy leather. Nah, we definitely like the, the glossy fabric, which is not normal. Normally, I don't like the glossy fabric. <laughs> All right, here we have the rose as well as a few other things. So my initial thought would be to add a bright, shiny color. But if you add this gold in a lot of other places, it might be too much. So you could kind of go opposite and have one of these pieces kind of stand out with the gold and... Uh, maybe matte that out but i think we're gonna keep the gold for now this piece we talked about this before i kind of like how that looks with the leather to matte that out let's go with the glossy leather there we go i think that looks really nice together here we have the cape i like the metal it makes it look like chain mail but i think for my taste specifically i would go with the black silk and then we have the etching right here, which since we have a little bit of purple here, ah, we're gonna go with purple. You know what, we'll leave that detail, just a small amount of purple, and we'll go with the second shiniest metal. Mm, let's go with the shiniest. It kind of dulls it down when the light's not directly on it. <laughs> of course, for the shoes, we would, honestly, I'd keep that the same way. Uh, this I would make a gold and then this I would make a leather black actually since this is leather right here we might go for the shiny leather the glossy leather or even the glossy fabric but this this may be changed you may see me in stream change this at some point all right she's looking good and the next thing we have is the gloves which we have all black this uh let's do a i would i would make that either a silk or a cloth let's go with the silk 
Mm, the silk is a little bit weird on the strap, so let's go with the claw, which kind of gives the same effect, but the straps don't look so strange. This, we're going to make the gold. We're gonna do the shiny metal. And then the rest of this, we could do a, let's do, are we gonna go with the glossy leather? We're gonna go with the authentic leather. Um, Honestly, I kind of like the authentic le leather. It dulls it down enough that you can kind of pay attention to other things with this outfit. And again, since we're not doing the headpiece, that is it. That is that is what we're working with right now. Let's go ahead and dye that. And the outfit pretty much looks like how it started, just slightly different. Just, I did the same things custom. Uh, you can change the colors however you like. Honestly, some bright colors would look really well with this outfit with how the pants work. You could do the black leather pants and any color you would like would look really nice with this. But yes, so that is our Rose Noir outfit for this week. Again, if you guys like this video, I will continue to make videos like this. We will cover the new outfits and if I can buy it, I will buy it so I can show you guys what can be changed on it as well as how those textures look on this outfit. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I stream every single day starting at 8 p.m. EST. You guys can find my Twitch link in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Stay comfy.